podcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good morning, traders. Can you hear me and see my screen? If you could, just type yes in the questions. All right. All right. Thank you. Okay. Good morning, everybody. Okay. All right. Let's uh, let's get started. Uh, welcome to the Bookmap platform uh, details webinar. This is Bruce at Bookmap. Risk disclaimer: Trading futures, equities, and digital currencies involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. For more information, go to Bookmap.com. The product comes along with education. Okay, so you get an educational course. It's a four-part series, uh, about an hour each, uh, going through very specific uh, uh, and and probably uh, uh, unique uh, for a lot of uh, a lot of you, uh, a lot of traders, uh, just understanding some of the basic market mechanics in order flow, uh, and then branching out from there. Okay, so then starting to look into structure. Uh, and how the order flow behaves within a structure. Uh, and then the uh, third part is uh, more about uh, understanding, uh, looking for specific setups within those structures. Uh, and then the fourth part is about uh, advanced uh, analysis of some of those structures uh, and using some of the add-ons that uh, I'll go over in just a minute. Uh, every day as well uh, with the product you get um, uh, the uh, access to the advanced order flow webinars. Uh, they start at 11 Eastern. And uh, so we cover the content and back up the content that is in that educational course, but we just go through it in the live markets. Okay, so we put those together and uh, we start to anticipate the price movement based on what we see uh, in the order flow in the uh, live market. Um, Okay, so uh, let's take a look at, uh, at the bookmap.com website here. Uh, you can uh, scroll down, and there's an intro video here. Uh, just get a feel for what's going on. Uh, a bit further down, just information here about bookmap in general. Uh, there's bookmap for U.S. equities, okay, with NASDAQ total view, and I'll cover that here in just a minute. Connectivity. Okay, so what is bookmap? Bookmap is a, uh, a visualization software trading platform. Okay, we are a true platform uh, and uh, we're not a data provider. So uh, for futures and U.S. equities, uh, you will need to provide your data, okay, uh, from your broker or from uh, a paid feed, uh, CQG, Rhythmic, Gain Capital, IQ feed, Transact uh, uh, futures, or Dev Experts for that NASDAQ total view for those U.S. equities. Now you can see there's three other platforms here uh, in our list like NinjaTrader, TTX Trader Pro, and uh, Interactive Brokers, we connect via the API of these three platforms. Okay, so you can go that route as well. Uh, but we are a platform, so you can connect directly with the data feed. Uh, pricing information uh, is here under Packages. And I'll just uh, quote, go through this here. You can uh, see it here monthly or yearly. Okay, If it's yearly, you get the 20% discount. Uh, if you subscribe monthly, uh, if you subscribe monthly, okay, it's not working. Uh, let me uh, reload here. Okay, there we go. Um, uh, you can see the pricing difference uh, that, that you receive. Uh, there's a digital version and global version. Okay, the digital version is for all the digital currencies. The global version is for... Uh, both um, the digital currencies as well as uh, for U.S. equities and for futures, and that's the global. Uh, so you can see the digital uh, here is free. Um, it's uh, You get uh, live connectivity to the GDAX exchange for a digital currency, only one at a time, uh, and um, uh, you also get uh, a, a delayed uh, U.S. data um, or feed for, for the U.S. equities data. Okay, so uh, it's not it's not real time, uh, but the uh, the GDAX uh, connectivity uh, is free uh, as well as um, uh, live. Okay, uh, so you get uh, uh, the complete uh, uh, view of the of the heat map and the order flow um, and the volume, etc. Uh, and um, uh, it is limited though with the education and support. Okay, so support is uh, uh, not not uh, it's just um, uh, very limited. We're not going to go into detail 
uh, with the uh, free version. The digital plus version, okay, what you get with that is um, uh, you can trade right from the uh, the bookmap chart using the one-click trading, okay, for, for your digital currency, uh, as well as you get tw up to 20 instruments uh, that you can display at once, okay. Uh, and um, uh, you also get the, the advanced education uh, as well as the um, uh, full support. The global, the global version here is what um, uh, you'll need for connecting to uh, futures uh, or U.S. equities or, or both. Uh, it cl includes everything in Digital Plus, but you um, also just get that connectivity. Okay, Global Plus uh, is uh, everything uh, in all of these here, uh, but it also includes this add-on package. Okay, the ability to trade right from the chart, uh, and then uh, our um, host of uh, add-on. Uh, indicators uh, that uh, are proprietary uh, based on uh, understanding the order flow. Okay, imbalance indicators, large lot tracker, iceberg uh, detector, being able to understand not only uh, order flow phenomena, but certain players, larger players in that order flow. Okay, it's getting very specific. Uh, a few links that you might be interested here. If you're new to futures, you can click here uh, and uh, uh, demo a data feed. So if you don't have a data feed, you can get like a two-week trial. Uh, if you want to see the complete list uh, of uh, comparisons for the, all the different versions here, you can click here. And if you have uh, uh, questions, there's the FAQ sec section here. All right, social media, you can follow us here on Twitter, uh, at bookmap underscore pro. And um, uh, the uh, YouTube page, you can subscribe uh, to our YouTube page. And uh, just to briefly go through some of the uh, videos here okay, in the content, uh, if you're new here, you might want to watch these three uh, intro videos. And then there is a, a Bookmap 7 overview as well if you want to watch that. That's also included in this playlist here for features and components. Uh, and um, uh, just uh, all the different kind of features here uh, in Bookmap. Okay, order flow video snippets. Uh, uh, you might be uh, really interested in these because uh, what we're going through here uh, in these order flow video snippets is um, the phenomena that Bookmap uh, uncovers uh, in the market. Okay? These are um, concise videos that go through uh, these concepts, and these concepts are gone through in detail uh, in the advanced order flow webinars. Okay. All right. Well, let's uh, let's take a look at Bookmap and what's going on here, uh, and then uh, get into some of the details. Okay. And let me know if you have any questions. Okay, we're going to look at the S&P E-mini here. And uh, let's see, there are some new traders in here. So uh, just reaching out to you, um, uh, welcome. Uh, and uh, let me know if you have any questions. That's, that's what this video, or I'm sorry, this webinar is for, uh, to, to answer your questions. Uh, and in general, uh, I, I need to go through and just... Uh, uh, describe what are the elements you're looking at here in the bookmap chart. Okay, there's a, you know, looks like there's a lot going on here. And indeed there is a lot of data here, uh, but they're actually, it's really simple and straightforward. Um, there are only three elements on this, uh, on this bookmap chart. Okay, one is historical best bid and offer. Okay, the other are the dots uh, within the historical best bid and offer. Okay, that's the, the volume dots. Okay, so we're seeing the volume uh, plotted very precisely uh, on the chart. Uh, and then we're seeing this uh, colored heat map here. Uh, and um, the colored heat map, uh, what it is showing is um, uh, the uh, recording from the limit order book, okay, from your dome, your depth of market. Okay, so high areas of liquidity in your dome is recorded graphically and then plotted on the chart historically. Okay, so we can start to see uh, how people were behaving at these areas uh, previously and uh, and currently uh, in the auction. Uh, Edson, uh, yeah, officially launching uh, uh, the uh, Bookmap XP portal. Uh, yep, thank you, um, uh, and uh, thanks for uh, for mentioning that. Yeah, we're real excited about that. Um, uh, that's one thing that uh, I can cover right off the bat for you guys. Uh, so. Uh, you know, I have the uh, the bookmap uh, global plus here, of course, uh, but I want to show you this here uh, connections. Okay, so 
uh, you can see here what I'm connected to, all right? So I'm actually, uh, I have multiple connections here. Okay, I'm connected to the GDAX exchange here for digital currencies or cryptocurrencies. I'm connected to Rhythmic for my futures data. I'm also connected to S5 Trader uh, for futures data. Uh, and then uh, you can see here, I'm also uh, connected with DX feed for those US equities. So if you have any questions about the uh, US equities, uh, I can go through those or about the cryptocurrencies. Here as well, you can see that uh, the Cedro uh, Crystal, um, uh, I can connect, uh, I'm not connected at the moment, but uh, I can also connect to the Brazilian uh, Cedro market there. Okay, uh, just uh, Edson's uh, talking about the uh, XP, and uh, yeah, no, thanks a lot, uh, Edson, really, really appreciate that. Um, okay, so let's go through some of the details here in the chart, and uh, S&P is uh, coming down into pretty interesting level here. Uh, we can already see the action in the uh, order book. Uh, it's no surprise, I mean, we're at the 2700 figure that we uh, struggled to get to yesterday, uh, but uh, it, uh, you know, kept on continuing to advance yesterday and uh, now we're coming back to test that area and you can see the the um, uh, the buyers lining up here in the uh, in the order book okay and just testing into them now all right so uh, let me close up this is a CVD uh, cumulative volume Delta sub panel indicator that we have uh, I'm not going to cover that here uh, we're just going to go through the the basics in uh, in book map so you guys understand what you're looking at okay um, Okay, so uh, let's uh, turn on this candlestick chart here because we do have candlesticks as well. Uh, and I'm going to take everything else off so that we're just looking at the candlestick for the moment. Okay, all right, so here we go. Here's our candlestick chart. And um, uh, we're all accustomed to this kind of view here. Okay, it's a five minute candlestick chart. All right, and here we are breaking down below. Uh, a range, a price range, okay? So uh, we wanna see if we accept down below in these areas. Uh, and uh, if uh, you can see that, uh, you know, we've been trending kind of down uh, since 9.30 open, okay? So the candlesticks, you know, um, I, I don't have anything against them. Uh, I, I like them. I, you, you know, I just think that uh, it's quite hard to read the buying and selling pressure in here by just looking at these four data points of open, high, low, and close. And, um, uh, you know, we, we just don't have um, uh, any insight to what happened inside that aggregated period. And see, that's the problem with the candlestick chart. And it's a problem with many of the charting platforms out there. They aggregate their data, okay? Bookmap does not, okay? You're getting a very, very clear and objective view of the market. And we pull that off by just being able to display it here, the historical best bid and offer, okay? Very simply. Uh, and uh, that's it. So I just uh, added that onto the chart here. And what this allows you to do uh, is see the price action within these, these uh, five minute periods of the candle, okay? And what constituted that candle, okay? So for example, I can see uh, here some of these little micro structures, okay? And uh, let's zoom in, okay? So here's what occurred. Uh, actually, we broke down uh, here into another little microstructural level here. And you can see the sideways action back and forth, okay? And we broke out of that area here, right here, okay? After this five minute period closed, okay? And we we, uh, we actually went above the swing here as well, okay? So uh, uh, we can see that uh, we accepted above uh, this range here, okay? We were trending down and now we're starting to see a change, okay? And th this is microstructural, of course. Uh, but the change is still here, okay? So you can use that to your advantage uh, if that's something that uh, you, you want to, uh, if, you if you were bullish, uh, you'd be looking at these areas here and understanding that, okay, we, we broke that area. We actually come up, we came up and tested the high here uh, and we returned back here uh, to a little bit higher than where we actually broke out from, okay? Uh, and, uh, and we accepted higher. Okay, we did not come back into this range. Okay, that's a lot of detail just by historical best bid and offer. Okay, now let's see how the volume uh, behaved in this area here to give us insight to the tape, the order flow. Okay, and here we go. Okay, and uh, we can start to see 
uh, who's uh, who's in control uh, in some of these areas. Okay, so for example, uh, you can see as we're uh, we're coming down here, you're starting to see more uh, you know red, which is the aggressive seller. Uh, and uh, starting to turn around here, we see some buyers starting and some green coming in here. But uh, look at the clusters of these um, uh, transactions here uh, on the way up. Okay, this is very typical. You're seeing a change in the order flow. Okay, more aggressive buying on this way up here. Okay, and uh, we can zoom in a little bit more and get uh, more insight. Okay, and you can see what I'm talking about. Look at the little retest back here. Okay, this is a, it's a really nice nice little area here. Uh, it retested. There's very little selling here. Okay, the majority is buying. Okay, this is bullish. Okay, we're reading the tape and we're looking at uh, these areas where it pulled back to, uh, and we can see that there's still uh, bullish uh, intent here as we see more buying up at some of the higher higher highs in this microstructural area. Okay, so uh, based on the tape. We're looking for a retest back to the high here, and we'll see if we break out from that area and accept higher. Okay, and let's get to, let's get some insight. Okay, yeah, all right, we tested up higher, but we actually kind of traded back into the range here. Okay, it, there's a, another little micro range here as well, and you can see that we accepted above that, but this isn't so bullish, because here's the swing. Uh, here's where we accepted, uh, just kind of slightly above this area here. All right, so already uh, a tremendous insight here just by looking at the volume, understanding that volume, uh, understanding these moves and breakouts of that microstructural area, uh, and putting those pieces together. All right, all of that data here is completely opaque within this these uh, these candlesticks. Okay? We just don't know. Uh, we have no clue. We don't know where the volume traded. Uh, we don't know. Um, uh, how much traded, where, where exactly, and what type, okay? And what I mean by what type, okay, this is important, uh, and uh, I cover it every day here. But um, uh, let's just zoom into these two elements that we're showing here, okay? Historical best bid and offer. Best, best offer is the red, best bid is the green. Uh, and then the, the dots here, okay, the transactions that took place on historical best bid and offer. So this green dot here, is a market buy. Okay, we're, we're displaying here, uh, and it's pretty typical uh, uh, display. But uh, not not every platform is showing this. It's the aggressor classification of the volume. Okay, we consider a market buy order aggressive uh, because it uh, it didn't provide liquidity. They didn't wait. Uh, they crossed the spread and they paid up and they wanted into the market now. And uh, that's what the um, uh, uh, the market buy uh, uh, button does for you. And uh, it takes liquidity off of the best offer. Okay, the opposite's true here for the for the red red dot. Okay, now if I zoom into some of these areas here, you're going to start to note these clusters. Okay, and of uh, this this buying. Okay, and um, uh, we can. Um, really start to uh, understand, we're looking at microsecond levels down here. Uh, we can continue to zoom in and look at nanosecond levels. Okay? We're talking billions of seconds here. Okay, uh, And uh, here we are, look at our timeline, billions. Right? So we're recording every single market event Okay, uh, and plotting it onto the chart. So you have access to all of that data. Okay. Uh, and all of that data is, um, uh, it's not aggregated, okay? So uh, you can see though, as I zoom back out, we're just graphically uh, aggregating that into a bigger dot, okay? It's all still here, but it's just uh, displayed this way so you have a better understanding of what's going on. Uh, and uh, let me just bring up the dot size to, to make the point, okay? So here it is. So this dot right here, we can use our data tip tool and, and hover over this volume dot, and we get the date, the time, uh, what was on the, uh, the offer here at um, uh, this price level, and the volume. So this dot constitutes a volume of 53 contracts. Okay, here's a smaller one over here. This this is for five, a volume of five. Okay, and we know as we zoomed in here that we that we saw dots within dots. 
Okay, so it's all all still here as it unfolded. Uh, it's it's really just uh, your time and sales uh, looking at it basically graphically and and horizontally, uh, and being able to read it uh, uh, that way with the price swings here. Okay. All right. So those are the uh, these two elements here, uh, and um, uh, you know, even even a footprint chart, uh, which uh, is something that um, uh, gives you these uh, the aggressor classification as, as well, uh, lifting the offer, hitting the bid, uh, you know, who's in control type of thing. The problem with that footprint chart is it aggregates its data as well, okay, within a bar, uh, as and you won't be able to see these little microstructural areas and how price is behaving within them. Okay, and that's uh, the problem with the uh, the footprint chart. Okay, uh, that aggregates data. All right, now that final element here on this chart, okay, is uh, is from the heat map, uh, and uh, let's turn that on and let's turn off the candles at this point. Okay, so uh, we we see the historical best bid and offer, the volume that traded there, uh, and then now we're looking at this uh, colored heat map. Okay, what does it represent? Well, let's go to the current market, zoom in a little bit, uh, and uh, here we go, okay? So in this window here, this is the live current market, okay? Best bid and offer is the dashed lines here, uh, and then last traded volume is here. Here's our price ladder, and then this COB column, this stands for current order book, uh, and let's zoom in a little bit more. So this is your dome. Okay, this, these are contracts here uh, on the offer, and then here's contracts here on the bid. This is uh, the, the current auction, okay? Note how these numbers are always changing, okay? People are adding and pulling liquidity constantly in the market, okay? That's the problem here with the dome, uh, is that uh, when, when these um, uh, contracts update, that previous data is lost, okay? So uh, how do you know? Uh, you know, if they pulled or added, or if they pulled or added previous, previously in that area, um, what about the areas around it? How did they behave? Were they were they adding or pulling or front running? Um, you know, all of these kinds of things we want to understand, right? Uh, and um, uh, that's really tedious to uh, recall all of that data uh, and have it in your mind uh, for. Um, uh, for using a, a, a dome and trading from the dome, okay? So what we've done here uh, is in this window here, we take the uh, numerical values and uh, uh, we um, uh, turn that into a heat map, okay? So uh, here's the heat map scale up here. A dark gray uh, is low liquidity and uh, high liquidity is the uh, orange and you can see the scaling in between. So here's yellow, it's pretty high liquidity. But up here, there's more. Uh, so uh, 400 contracts here is what this represents. And up here at uh, 05, we see it's almost uh, 500 contracts. Uh, let's see, Ho. Um, uh, do you know if a level will be broken or if it will hold? Uh, well, um, we never know, okay? But what we do know uh, is uh, the um, uh, understanding the context uh, and their behavior uh, in the book, okay? And uh, higher or lower probability, okay? So for example, uh, look at uh, how they're pretty aggressive here uh, in the order book, okay? They were up here on the offer, okay? And now they're lowering that offer. They wanna be sellers at lower areas here, all right? Okay, that's skewing the auction. This is new information in the auction. Okay, there's more supply up here. Okay, and there's not enough demand to come up and test that area. And find it, we're finding that it's actually skewing the auction to the downside, and it looks like it wants to press it into some of these areas here. And here we go. Okay, we're into 98. Let's get into 97 and 96. Okay, so understanding this kind of behavior uh, is... Uh, uh, it, it just great insight. I mean, uh, we, we can see what, what's going on here. Uh, and this is longer term liquidity. It's just been staying here waiting, okay, to get uh, to get filled. All right. 
Okay, now look at the behavior on the other side. Okay, pretty aggressive here, 98. Okay, looks like a you know a job well done here. Let's see if they if the sellers take these guys on here at 98. But uh, we see a lot of buying down here now. Okay, and coming into this higher liquidity as well. Okay, let's see if they they um, maybe the job is is finished here. Maybe this is kind of spoofing type of activity. Now maybe the target here is 03 and a quarter. Okay, well they're pretty aggressive here at 98, and they have not been tested yet. Okay, and that's what we're putting together in terms of context. So I'm looking for uh, aggressive buyers to start stepping in here, and let's see if we can come up and uh, get into the higher liquidity up here. Okay, so uh, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's not an indicator here. It's the market, and we want to understand the context of that market. Okay. And this kind of analysis that I'm doing right now is what we go through in the advanced order flow webinars. All right. So uh, understanding uh, the uh, the context of the, the transactions okay, within the liquidity heat map. Okay. So uh, let's see if we now, uh, we're kind of exhausting out here. Let's see if we can come back down and test these guys now at 98. Okay. And let's see if they mean business here. Uh, sure, Bill. Uh, yeah, reach out to us um, uh, at, um, uh, you know, I mean, uh, you can go to the contacts page, contact us page. Uh, there's a, a phone number there uh, as uh, as well as a uh, email. Okay. And uh, yeah, no, no problem. And that's what we're here for. All right. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, Bill, I, I do need to let you know, though, I, I have uh, uh, a few different meetings this afternoon, so it's going to be pretty much later in the afternoon uh, if, I, if I'd be able to uh, to contact you. Okay. So just uh, 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 please, please note that. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be pretty busy this afternoon uh, in the early afternoon. Okay. All right. Let's, uh, well, let's check this out. How, how do they how do they behave here? Now, I'm going to zoom into this area and I'm going to get precise understanding. And Ho, I think this will help answer your question as well. Okay, so look at uh, the high liquidity here, and look what traded. Okay, so uh, uh, we're going to we're going to analyze this and we're going to understand exactly what occurred in this market. So here on the bid, we and they stayed here. Okay, and we were noticing that here at 98. Okay. Uh, there are 623 contracts, and note how we're trading into that area. Okay, these guys meant business. Okay, now they pulled here as well, but it's starting to take their liquidity. Okay, so we went from, and let's zoom in and just get really specific here. Okay, because this is going to help understand the context of the traders at these levels. Okay, so uh, here we had. Um, uh, 612 contracts. Well, out of all of that, about 400 of them traded. Okay, so the majority of these contracts traded. Okay, that is fact. Okay, uh, we know that. All right, so we're identifying larger players willing to trade here. This is real liquidity. Okay, so they they uh, they stayed in the book. Okay, now uh, what what does that mean? Well, it means that they're um, uh, we need to we need to kind of zoom back out and understand what's going on here. Okay, they're absorbing here and they're absorbing up at a higher level. Okay, uh, but uh, we also want to understand the the context of the aggressive selling. It also means here, uh, if we we want to see the reaction after this occurs. Okay, and here's our answer. Okay, here's our context. Okay, we do see a lot of buyers starting to step in here. Uh, as well, but look at the selling down here. So there's still more appetite for selling. Okay, and we did not break any microstructural levels. Uh, we did not trade above any of these areas here, uh, and we're starting to note that there's more selling appetite. Okay, we're coming down and testing further into higher areas of liquidity, and they're still staying in here and absorbing. Okay, so uh, uh, larger players, uh, you know, they can absorb uh, as price is going down against them. Now, what we're going to note here, 
okay, is there's going to be a shift in this order flow. Okay, it's good. as they absorb selling pressure, there's going to be a certain point where the selling pressure starts to exhaust and we see buyers step in. Here it is here. Okay, you can see it. All right now, we need to come up and test above the swing here at uh, this uh, 95 and a half area, and we need to see more significant volume trade up in these areas here. Okay, if we're going to get a complete reversal, okay, else. We just may go sideways here, here for a bit, or we may even see more sellers engage again and, and test into lower areas. Whatever the case is, we're going to read it, okay? But uh, uh, this is a, a, a micro structural area here that you can see that the uh, they broke it and traded up again into these areas, but we want, we're looking for kind of a bigger move here. So we need to accept above at least this swing and uh, maybe then we'd get up into this swing up here around 99, okay, and the figure up here at, at uh, 2,700. All right, you guys, I, I need to go. I need to leave you with that. Uh, some good stuff, uh, and uh, we will continue tomorrow, okay? Thanks. <laughs>